I think we should welcome on our special guest. I think so too. What do you think? I reckon. Mr. Tony Gray. Do we have any canned laughter? Canned laughter? No. Watch out for the cords, mate. No, no, no. I don't want to cut everything off. Yeah, well, Tony? More than aware of that. One. Welcome, oh. Mr. Tony Gray. Oh, Thanks for coming it's, in. It's an absolute pleasure to be here, gentlemen. Men's have got an afternoon off work. That's I like a, a t-shirt. Yeah. It's a fine t-shirt. And it's that is fine, fine one t-shirt. that you drew up your very self. Is that right? Uh, it is indeed, yes. Yep. I have a history of doing these things. T-shirts and, uh, and design and, yeah. and drawing and stuff is your, this your one passion. Is, this one has turned out to be... Um, semi-iconic i suppose you can say it's got a life of its own isn't it it has so people get these when they enter the vintage bash they get one for free but people are um buying them anyway to get one beforehand and they're buying a plethora of different colors aren't they They... yeah it was originally only offered in white t-shirt with the yellow car on but since then i've had to have had a black and white car a uh orange car for lou solar and andy cook Oh, chopper makers and, they are and now um they've they've worked their way around the uh the retail area of the t-shirt shop and they're adding them onto hoodies and onto everything so right so vintage bash that's pretty what obvious is there what is vintage <clears throat> bash what 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 is a vintage bash vintage bash is an event for pre-2000 rc cars buggies obviously um and not not limited to pre-2000 in that uh, we're allowing all the re-release cars from uh, Tamiya and Kyosho and that to run as well because mm -hmm. most of them are more than uh, accurate in terms of being what they were like in the old days they just upgraded a little bit to yep. uh, a mainly reliability point yes, of view, isn't yeah. it? it's not so much a performance thing yeah it's um, uh, it's yeah. something that there's been a bit of a groundswell for vintage stuff over the years and uh, and I suppose it's because I mean that the, the older we 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 get as that generation, I suppose, um, you know, the more that we enjoyed the stuff playing with when we were kids. For sure. No. Yeah. And a lot of it harks back to the the twenty five years or you know thirty years passion that I've had for it stems back to those cars like a frog or something that yeah. you know that I didn't I didn't race initially, but I I played with, and that's what inspired me and, to. And you saw them back then, and what and also the manufacturers have realised this because they're seeing that the uh, guys who started with these cars 35 years ago which is when i started are now a lot older i.e like this and have significantly more disposable income so let's re-release these okay. and these guys will buy them all again and it's been working it's working the treat yeah, it's We're loving there's, it. there's one behind you up there babe that we should which one the frog's up on the hook the frog, the frog, the frog. The hook. frog on a hook frog on a stick Frog on a hook like this? Fairly sure that's not legal, bro. <laughs> what? A frog on a hook? <laughs> a frog on a hook. Well, before we go on, we've got a guess on the car. What is it? Is it a SS Camaro? Uh, no, no. It is not. So, sorry. It, it's not. So, keep going then. I think it's very important, the front end. Is it? Yes. That is not a Camaro front end. It's good you you, kept it a bit you would actually know. You, you actually know a fair bit about automotive uh, architecture and design i am an automotive designer yes <laughs> so, well that would help yeah, <laughs> absolutely absolutely um yeah so getting back to it so this is a re-release frog now whether you've been watching or not we've been doing episodes building this in the studio fitting the radio gear um like i mentioned before painting the inside of the studio doing the body for it um and we've uh employed jspec to do some custom stickers for us they look good too so he's been deployed on that um and they are in the factory to me a sticker sheet thing um so yeah so we've got our hearns racing re-release frog um young bj here painted up the driver figure i did um yeah so that really did in one really quick session yeah we did that in a half hour session of putting stickers on and painting the driver i normally take months to and paint off a driver pink helmet too yeah, yeah, it's gotta have a pink helmet. It's have a pink, pink helmet. That's actually harking back to that's a PS11. It's the original paint coat of the stripe on the frog. Okay. So, but yeah, it's gonna gonna hey, like pink helmet. helmets. Oh, I'm a big fan of pink helmets. Yeah. So that <laughs> is an example of the kind of re-release that we'll expect racing. They don't have to be box art. They don't have to be true to the word. We are going to be allowed to put modern 
tires and wheels on them obviously because you might find a little bit tricky sometimes to get these 40 year old setups so within reason they've all got to be a pin tire rear and a rib tire front yep. um which all the modern manufacturers still make to this day for one tenth cars that's deliberate because we didn't want people running the bar type tires that, that we use on the modern cars now because they've got so much grip and it's just ridiculous and it just doesn't look right yeah it yeah i want I mean, you don't have to have a pin tire like this you can yep. get one that's got lots and lots and lots of pins and they'll yep. still work very well the the critical thing certainly at Keeler, is just the compound you just want a really soft compound mm. yeah and like you said this harks back to the aesthetics of the yeah. of the period so we're just trying to recreate that and really it is about fun um now it is going to be racing now it's two days of racing is that right no no, no it was a it was we thought originally we'd get an afternoon's worth of racing out of this. Now, right. obviously, it's blown out way beyond anything. That How many members have we got on Facebook? Or have you got on Facebook? 490. 490 Three active yeah. members. And it is yeah. very active. It's yeah. constant conversation, yeah, that, that, photos, sharing. There's a lot of stuff going on all the time. Every day there's new uh, new posts from people. and it's But 490 is a bit of an exaggeration in that probably half of those are from overseas. So yes. they're pretty much just workers, but that's okay. Because mm -hmm. They they still create content and they create a level of interest in, yep. in the whole thing, and and that's great. But you know, realistically, if we've got two hundred and fifty um, members in Australia, then we could potentially have quite a few people racing. Yeah, yeah, and there's people I've, yeah. I've heard coming over from New Zealand. There is definitely people, one guy. Yeah, people coming from, down from Queensland. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be a yeah. plethora from New yeah. South Wales. Right. So what we're going to do now is um, Saturday will be a sort of semi-official practice day because for a lot of these, a lot of these people, they won't have driven their cars and they won't have driven a kilo. So we need to give them the opportunity to do that. So Saturday will be a practice day and Sunday will be the race day. But And the race is going to be fairly loose. Very, I imagine very, that there's going to be more booby prizes and door prizes, and there mm. will be ribbons and trophies given out. Yeah, What's the well, first thing you said? Booby prize? Mm. Yeah, well, That's all right. I'll, I'll see what I can do. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, yeah, it's uh, in, on the the big banners that we've got that we, we're going to hang up at the uh, at the gate that says "Leave your egos at the door," right? Yeah. Because certainly yeah. the the overriding thing from me and Lou and Aaron, we're the guys behind this, yes. is this is about fun yeah if if you want to play for sheep stations this is not your event no. it's it's about getting these cars out on the track and having a good time winning is not important no, no. it's not the thing maybe it, it will be for some people but it's certainly not what we intended it to be we just want to see these cars out there and running yeah and sure. the spirit of it there'll be a lot of talk of old days you know, you might even see, even if you don't have one yourself, you might say, oh, that's the car I wanted when I was a kid, or there goes yeah. my first race car, that sort of stuff, you know. So that is really good. So we've got Saturday, we've got practice day, Sunday race day, um, and it's not like a car like this, for example, like a, a pretty much stock stock frog up against a 2000 model RC10 no, no, or Rossi triple X of the day. I'm, I'm betting the entries as they come in because yep. I'm the one that controls all that, and I'm asking people to put on what they're – what their main car is going to be because some people want to switch between a couple so if some guy says i've got an rc10 worlds i'm not going to put him in the same heat as the guy with the grasshopper so i will actually do a, a manual sort on that to try and keep cars as much as possible the same within that race yes, yes. and it's not about um, like you said it's not going to be about the results of the winning it's about hopefully having a few head-to-head -head battles yeah. you know and seeing five frogs on tr track at once or five grasshoppers whatever it, whatever mm, it may be exactly and most people are already have said yeah that's what i want i just want to get out there and run the car and run with their friends and plus you've got to be careful too the um you, you run an original hot shot and try and jump the triples at keeler there's going to be there's enough. going to be bits of original hot shot all <laughs> over the track yeah, is that going to be well it'll be good for here if you've got parts <laughs> <laughs> but it's not much good for anyone else so that, that doesn't work no. So you, you need to be a bit circumspect and say, all right, I might just do like a, a single, single, single. That's right. But it, that's why. It was, that's how we want it to be. We want people to, to not be too silly. Yeah. Some people will do it. And yep. I know Dafina will do it. <laughs> <laughs> he does it at club racing. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because he doesn't care. He's got enough bits to fix it. That's right. But, all right. But it's definitely the whole thing is about having fun. That's what we're... Yeah. 
So they're sure. calling it the the Hearns Hobbies Vintage Bash 2022. And okay. when's, it, when's it on, Tony? Last weekend of October. Yeah. Page, if you'd like to check that out on my fat guts. 2930 October. So that's 29th of the 30th mm. of October. Yep. Yep. This year. That's where it, I that's... think there'll be a few people there on the Friday as well. Oh. I think some of the, the interstate people will probably want to get Well, I've got Friday. some stuff here. So I've got Anthony. He's coming down from Queensland. Yep. And he's also got a question about batteries. So. Yep. He hasn't actually asked a question yet, but if I show this up here, maybe yeah. you'll prompt him a to say something. It's probably Anthony Miller. And then quickly, I've got a guess on the car here. Yep. Pontiac from Anthony again. What kind of Pontiac? Well, then we've got Simon. Oh. 6970 Pontiac GDO. I thought he was our anime specialist. He's not quite right there, actually. No, not quite right. No, no, you're not quite right. You're getting it's close. A, but it's not a GTO. Simon needs to stick back to the anime, mate. And, it, <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then Tony here. Not me. No, not what, the, the other Tony. Pont, is it one of those? A Pontiac Flaming Chicken. A Flaming Chicken. I can see where the beak thing comes into it. Flaming Chicken is a uh, firebird. No, or wrong? You sure? Is it? Well, it's what? got the it's got the the Flaming Chicken on the bonnet. It's well, he's uh, he's there then. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fiver. Yeah. It is a fiver. But we don't have the year yet. We haven't got the year exactly. All right. Uh, we'll okay. keep them guessing. Let's keep talking. Yep. Vintage Bash. So we've talked about our re-releases and stuff like that. Now, what's something that could be more fun than that? Two of them. 200 of them? Could 200 be really of them? Cool? No, we've got something else. We have got something else. What have you got here, Tony? Yeah. That, that would be my comical Avanti. Why comical? Well, look at it. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty obvious. Just behind you there, Beach, is um, your Hearns Racing Comical Grasshopper. Yes, it is mine. Yep, that, yeah, mine. That's your one. That's going to cool. be your. That's going to be yeah. your entry. You yeah. get to crash that. Yep. Now I've been building this one again on YouTube episodes. Yeah. So you can check that out. Um, and I'm going to get well, or BJ. One of us is going to get that to the track in the next couple of weeks with Mr. Gray here. We're going to get. And some we're going to get. Two wheel drive versus four wheel drive. Yeah, and see what's gonna see what's up there. Although you've already said I'm cheating because I've I've gone up two teeth on the pinion. Yeah, so are, you, are we allowed to do that? It's up. It's listed as an option. <laughs> oh, and so because this guy said to me, it's, it's got to be, be box out. Of, I box thought stock. it had to be box stock. Anyway, well, uh, I'm quite I'm quite happy to go back to the 18s. But, I I think. But I, come race weekend, <laughs> it's all in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're getting left in the dust, buddy. Right. But well, right. the, the easy way to check on these is I'll be able to check the motor mount. Oh, uh, yeah. Exactly. And I can see exactly there that you've the, got the 20 we're on. We're in the 20, yeah. So we, can, we might have enough of these that we'll have 18 and 20 classes. Who knows? So these, this here is, a, to me, a comical series. They're available in two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. Um, yeah, like we said, they both do wheelies. They both carry on, and they both look awesome. They're really good entry level builds. Um, they take you sort of a couple. Well, the two wheel drive took yeah. probably a couple of hours. The four wheel drive is probably a little bit more. A little depth. bit more. There's more. There's more gears inside the uh, transmission. I think there's eight big ones all the way down yeah. there, so it's quite a few. And these are something that you can go from zero, as in not having anything in your RC arsenal, to being on the track and racing for sort of four hundred dollars. Yeah. You know what I mean? And as I've said to you before, I've got I've got the the VW Combi version of this one the two oh, yeah. and i've I had think that overhead for playing up again isn't yeah. it it is yeah oh well no, uh, no, that's i'm gonna yeah. fix it on i'll mix the fix it mate are you yeah okay there you go. Right. no no you're not that's still flashing still right. flashing right. well we'll leave that yeah my, my combi has been going for a few years and i've given it hell and it just doesn't break yeah so yeah. these are really cool they, these have been around for some some time um there hasn't been a lot of movement on them but yeah they are going to be a uh, a demo class well i don't know they, yeah. they are going to be a fun class at the vintage bash and strictly then, speaking they're, they're not vintage but no. they're representations of vintage cars yes. yeah and that's why yeah. i thought we'll add this in because it gives kids a chance to um come yeah. in yeah. go around get to race their cars with no worries about oh, I, oh what if i don't win or anything because there's no winner or anything in this class gonna we're going to put all of these on the class on the track at once yeah as many no, as we can fit on the driver's yeah, stand yeah basically which means me and maybe two other people 
It should uh, be 15 to 20 on the track at any one time. Yeah, be, 15 or 5 minutes, even 10 minute well, races. Yeah, and, it's just, <laughs> and we, we won't know who's won. No. That, that's not the point. The point is just to have these cars out there because they, they don't handle very well. They fall over in the corners. There are optional axles to extend. Oh, really? Yeah, you can extend the, I think it's off TG10. Uh, and they extend it out another 10 mil. It apparently makes it a lot more stable. But, but we do have to race them box stock. But I'd rather people <laughs> didn't bother with that. I mean, yep. I've got some, but I'm not going to put them in. Yeah. So all we've done here, well, all that that one's copped is just the full bearing kit. Yep. I think that there's, mine. there's 24 bearings, all of the same size. They're available for like $30. And that's really just a reliability thing. And that's going to help the gearboxes last a bit longer, be a bit quieter. Yeah. yeah. So it's not wasn't really a performance thing. Um, big fat gears in the gearboxes. Yeah, they're um, very, very tough. Well, they're going to be tricky, aren't they? They're geared, at like, boxes up. they're geared at like 18 to 1, so they're not really a speed machine, but they're a huge fun machine. And I'm hoping, like Tony said, that it gets the kids involved. Big wheelies. Because they're not really interested in... Most of them aren't interested in 40-year-old proms and stuff like the grown yeah. adults will be on the day. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, so BJ's going to be running one. And yeah. if I can get my hands on another, I'd love to. I'm in love with it. I'm absolutely in love with it. Just playing with it in store, it turns on a dime. You can play with it inside on the grass, whatever. Really cool thing. So that is the comical cup. Yes, comical cup. The Hello. comical park cup. That's going to be part of the vintage bash. Yeah, check that out. 29th to the 30th of October this year. Now, um, Mr. Gray, what else have you got for us? I don't have anything else for you. Uh, really? I, all I all I brought was this and me. You don't. Well, we got some stuff here. Yeah? But I've got another question from Anthony. He says yep. he doesn't have any approved raw batteries. Is that a problem? No. But no raw, problem. Raw, raw won't be there to inspect, will they? Yeah. I Raw's mean, not there. You didn't invite them. We can't expect people who have never raced before to rush out and buy approved batteries. Okay. okay. That's just, I mean, it would be nice, but it's not It's not really critical. No. This, no. Is, this is a really low-key event in terms of those sort of yeah. things. Yeah, it's probably probably the most critical thing yep. that is probably going to be a bugbear for most people is the transponders. So, and there's nothing that we can do about that. All the modern clubs are geared for people to have personal transponders yep. in their race cars. Yep. Um, they are expensive at about $140, $150 a piece. There's something that you can keep forever, but yeah, it's something yeah. that if you're if you're racing in one of the classes, you'll need it. Not in yeah. the comical Not club. Not in comical club, but every yeah, other what, club. what if someone didn't want to get a transponder and just wanted to run anyway? So you're going to let them then do that? You can run. Yeah, if yeah. someone didn't want to get counted and they just wanted to go, I mean, yeah. you'll, you'll end up going further and further down the field. Yeah, that's true. But, but that doesn't matter. That's yeah. not necessarily a, a bad thing. We, no. we don't have an issue with if someone wanted to do that, but yeah. the, there's no way we can get around that. I'm... As I said to you last week, Brett, I'm going to do a, a little short video on on the transponders myself and put it on the Vintage Bash YouTube channel. Yep. So we'll put, I'll put that up sometime next week just to explain to people what they are, how they work, so they understand. Yep. The thing, but basically, it's like an e-tag in your car. That's exactly what it is, isn't yeah, it? And it plugs into it plugs into one of the channels on the receiver, and there we go. How's that? Is that legal? That's, oh. What do you mean legal? That's, can we run that? Not in comical class. You can run that, absolutely. Yeah? That's a four-wheel drive, though. We've got a brushless in it. Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't see that bit. Oh, I didn't no, no, that. No, it depends no. what brushless are 21.5. Oh, really? 21.5, that's fine. Oh, is that's, it? Yeah. Cool. So yeah. that, that is really the only restriction, and that's really going to apply to, I suppose, the more competition um, yeah. spec cars, that they won't just have the near 540 but, motor. But, but stuff. people can run what they want. I mean, they got, can run. I've got a Tamiya 23. And G, GT oh, no, yep. in um, in my super shop. I'll be running that because that's yep. what it came with. And okay, fine. that's right. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> no, no, but brushless, we did put a cap, didn't we? To 21, 20, and, a half 21 and, and a half and six to one if it's a competition. Yeah, if it's an RC10 or something. Is that, oh, that no, we didn't. I can't remember. No. Gear we're gonna keep, you're going to keep. Anyway, RC10 it is what it is. Anyway. There'll be I'll nobody be. there to scrutiny uh, except Aaron will be walking yeah. around. Yeah, Lonnie, uh, he'll be handing out canaries. He will indeed. He'll have me walk around with the box. Yeah. There'll be a stop go penalty on the box. There'll be a. We'll come up with some. Crowd. If someone's too far in front of the heat, yep. we'll come up with a way to um, normal them. To slow them down. Yeah. And, if, and if someone's not having fun, they'll be spoken to. I can't believe that how very little that you've been heckled today, Mr. Gray. I was expecting uh, more from uh, from Tony P and Scotty, Scotty Giles, but T nothing. Tony yet. P has really let the, the team down there. What do you mean? What's he done? 
What do you haven't done? Oh, it's just, it's a, a decent one from uh, Mr. Healy there. Yes, the club will insist the batteries are safe and not damaged. Yeah, so yeah, that goes without so saying. If, if there's, um, Absolutely. If your batteries are falling out of their pack and the, there's the potential for shorts everywhere, then fair enough. Yeah, that's... or they're puffed and out of shape or they're just not looking yeah. right. Like safety is a concern. Um, that's definitely going to be paramount. Mm. Performance, not so much. Yeah. Now, Cookie's asking about the crystal peak. <laughs> yeah. On the area. So if he's using a crystal, then um, <laughs> good luck to you. Yeah, there is going to be some people running crystals, uh, uh, I believe. I will. You in will? One, in one class, yes. I've got one of my original radios. So, is Willie Cheng coming? He'll, he'll be running crystals, I reckon. Yeah, That's all he's got. He, he, does, he doesn't want to know about modern things. Oh, right, yeah. okay. Not Willie. Um, so so I, I'm assuming then with all this going on that there will be a, a frequency on the entry list or there will be on practice day. There will oh. have to be a pegboard of some description. Um, I, to, to be honest, <laughs> I, haven't thought about it. I, I figured the amount of people that will be doing that will be so small that we could probably handle it as it happens. I don't think there'll be too many people running old radios. Yeah. Because to be honest, they're shit. Yeah. Huh? And, and, <laughs> yeah. and for those of you who don't know, like, yeah, back in the old days or years gone by, um, we did used to have cars with crystals in them. So that, that transmitter would talk to that car. Yep. But that wasn't unique like what we have now. So another person could have channel 36 of 29 megahertz, mm -hmm. and their, if they turned on their transmitter, that would affect your car. And How fun some, was that? You'd hear someone right, oh, somebody on my channel. Yeah, somebody <laughs> turned. And many cars have been broken and destroyed and, and laces, races lost and tears had from, from such things. We used yeah. to have transmitter impounds. We used to have a peak right. board. Um, you know, there was lots of things, and it's actually probably the best, one of the best things oh, for yeah. LiPo batteries that has really transformed that the hobby that you know pain that we just don't feel anymore yeah so yeah the, the 2.4 gigahertz system once that is paired to your car that yep. is it nobody yep. else can turn on nobody can interfere yep. components can fail and it can fail safe um you know or if you're drawing too much current at the velodrome your battery can unsolder yep um and you know goes. but but no amount of, of gigahertz is going to save that yep all right well, I think we've covered lots. Do you want to stay here while we talk other things? No, I'll go and sit over there. All right, you go and sit over there. All right.